Greetings. Welcome to So Much to Talk About here, uh, NBA Cares event for the Special Olympics. My pleasure to have a, a man that's been a wonderful ambassador for NBA Cares and doing a lot of great things in the community. And former Rice High School star, yeah. St. John's Red Storm star, first round draft pick in 1998 draft, and uh, and one of the great um, players in New York City history. My pleasure, have Felipe Lopez. It's always great to see you, my brother. I, every time I see you, you're always working hard, man. So it's, it's a pleasure <laughs> to be here. You know, your show is, is, is a great one that a lot of people is able to watch. And, uh, you know, you give out a lot of great information to people. So I'm, I'm honored to be here with you. Oh, honored to have you here. Absolutely. You, and yes, indeed. And talk about, like, you know, you've you've done it before. You've been drafted in the NBA. And, and these kids are about to live their dream, fully realize their dream tomorrow night. Yeah. So talk about what advice have you shared with them and how to prepare immediately after you get drafted. Because the fun and games are over pretty much. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a great night for a lot of those guys, man. You know, actually, a lot of the hard work. Uh, uh, it's going to come and pay off. But one of the most amazing things is really hearing uh, David Stern call out their name. Uh, you know, they, they might have an idea where they might end up. You know, it's just funny because, you know, I got drafted by San Antonio and, and traded the same night. <laughs> so I was very excited to go to San Antonio. But, you know, uh, unfortunately, I was traded the same night. So, the yeah. Right, right. So, you know, it's like you say, the funny games are over. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just about them. And really just uh, accomplishing their dream, their dream, and now they had to really uh, start dreaming bigger. Now it's a, it's a process now where they had to just get ready uh, 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 automatically, you know, whatever team they go, they, they want to be able to come in out there and, and show right from the beginning that they're all about business. You know, it's, 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 a, great, it's a great game that treat guys well mm -hmm. if you're able to go out there and do the right thing. Wow. I wanted to ask you, around your time, you came out of high school in 1994, and then after that, Kevin Garnett set a trend of coming out of high school. Did you think maybe you should have did that yourself? Oh, man, that's a question I always got asked. I don't know. It was, that, it was not the trend. Uh, my family, we, we, we came from, from Dominican Republic, so education had always been a huge um, a stress in my family. And, um, you know, I really never thought that. I, I would have made that decision based just on basketball because okay. my mom was a teacher. So mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if she would allow me just to uh, cut, you know, my college education just to uh, go and play basketball, even though that's what I, I love to do. Um, at the end of the day, I'm still happy with everything that happened, you know. Uh, times have changed. Obviously, KG changed. Kobe changed the whole game. Mm -hmm. You know, LeBron. So, you know, somebody had to do it. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't me. <laughs> But even though I still had a great career, though. Wow, and uh, talk about St. John's. Like, you were part of that renaissance, you know, when you guys made the NCAA tournament in 98. Yep. And, uh, and then, of course, now. And talk about how it's doing now in the recruiting class coming in. Well, you know, uh, Lavin have done a great job. We have one of the best recruiting class in the nation right now. And uh, it, it means a lot for, for, for a lot of us because, you know, we, we've been having, we've been going through a lot of changes. But now with this class that we have and, and, and the, the, the job that Lavin was able to do last year mm -hmm. with these guys really give everyone the confidence that we're going to have a better year coming up. And that's, that's what we want. You know, the guys are going to be out there. They're going to work hard. And uh, as, as long as they do that, we're going to be fine. Wow. Talk about the community programs that you're spearheading right now for the audience. Uh, well, you know, uh, running my foundation, which uh, have been going wonderful. We decided it's going to be our last day. We have a graduation with the kids. Uh, we have been uh, such a great experience to run the program the whole year. Um, and not just to run it from a basketball point of view, but more from education. Mm -hmm. I have seen a lot of my kids raise their grade uh, from just being, uh, you know, 75 to being 85, 90 students. And um, for me, that's the, the most important uh, improvement that, that I want for my kids. Basketball is going to be taken care of. But the schoolwork is, is, is going to be the one that we need to definitely drive into them. Wow. That's a sensational message. And uh, I thank you for your time. And definitely I look forward to featuring you on the show, featuring your program next school year. Absolutely. Definitely. Thank you. Thank definitely. you so much, man. And uh, God bless. Thank you. <laughs> One, two.